Good evening, Ukiah Unified, and welcome to our February Student of the Month ceremony. I'm Deb Cuban, Superintendent for Ukiah Unified, and I could not be happier to be here tonight with you virtually. I'm really proud of the students who, are, who we are going to be celebrating tonight, and I just want to say thank you students for your amazing work, for being kind, for working hard in class, and doing whatever you can do to make your schools a better place. I also want to take a moment to thank our amazing sponsors in this community who go above and beyond to support the kids who we serve and also to the teachers, our classified employees, our counselors, our administrators for everything that you do to help these students be successful. And finally, a big shout out to all of the parents watching tonight, the grandparents, the guardians, and the friends who are here to celebrate these amazing students. Enjoy our Student of the Month ceremony. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance led by Pomelita 8th grader Owen Johnson. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Tina Burrell and I am very proud to be representing Calpella Elementary School. Calpella is a TK through fourth grade school, and fourth grade is the first year that students have the opportunity to get the Student of the Month Award. The two students I will be talking about today are both from Mrs. Murray's fourth grade classroom. The first student uh, I'd like to talk about is Owen Nelson. Owen has a wonderful work ethic and is an avid reader. He is the class leader in AR points with almost 500 points already this year. He understands new material easily and also extends that knowledge by making new connections. Owen benefits the entire learning environment by his insights and understanding through class and group discussions. He is respectful and unfailingly kind to adults and other students. Mrs. Murray is very impressed by the compassion and quiet maturity that Owen demonstrates during many different interactions. We are all so proud of you. Congratulations on being one of the February students of the month. And the next student I'd like to talk about is Tegan Glassy. Tegan is a solid and obvious choice for student of the month. She is an eager learner and dedicated student. She applies herself to learning new material and takes responsibility for her own learning. She is conscientious about turning in all her work and is consistent in meeting her AR goals. She is an excellent reader who is now involved in the Harry Potter series, one of Mrs. Murray's favorites. Tegan contributes to classroom discussions and is actively involved in her learning community. Tegan shows integrity and confidence in all her interactions. We are all so very proud of you. Congratulations on being one of the February Students of the Month. And those are the Calpella Cubs Students of the Month for February. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dara Brown. Welcome to Students of the Month. Thank you so much for uh, attending virtually. I am very excited to introduce you to you, the Students of the Month uh, from Frank Zeke School. You will see some really amazing examples of people who are choosing to be peaceful, respectful, responsible, and safe, and we're very proud of them. Our first student, uh, representing Mr. Martin's class in fourth grade is Reese Martin. Reese is a very responsible student who always keeps up with his daily work and long-term goals. He is always interested in sharing his knowledge with the class and chats in answers when the class is working together. Reese has also read 2,500,000 words this year, a little bit over that even. Uh, Reese is a great example of student of the month Reese, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Also representing fourth grade is Dylan Donnelly. Dylan earned student of the month uh, for Mrs. Morris class because of his continued dedication to his learning. He's really picked up his commitment to, all his, to complete all his assignments with quality. Although distance learning seemed to be a hurdle, Dylan has shown that he perseveres. His regular attendance to office hours has increased his stamina for learning and his passion for success. The award of student of the month was earned through Dylan's exceptional mental fortitude. 
Dylan, we're so proud of you. Congratulations. Also representing fourth grade in Mr. Vaugh's class is Lane Lawson. Lane has shown up for online class this entire year with a positive attitude and continues to give his best each day. He has a strong work ethic and has completed 100% of his distance learning assignments. That's impressive. If Lane does miss school, he takes the initiative to find out what assignments were missed, then he completes them and turns them in. Lane is passionate about science and always has something to share in regarding, in regarding any of the topics in science. Lane is polite and respectful to both his classmates and his teacher. Lane possesses all the characteristics of Frank Zeke Tiger. Keep up the great work. Lane, congratulations. We're very proud of you. Representing fifth grade in Mr. Bradford's class is Kyler Madigan. Kyler is a very bright and inquisitive student. He knows a lot and is interested in everything. He is a voracious reader. He keeps all of that knowledge in his mind and then shares it with others. He is a gifted math student, continuing to work hard and push himself. He turns everything in on time and always does his best. We are so proud of you, Kyler. Congratulations. Also representing fifth grade, but in Mr. Smith's class is Miriam Gonzalez. Miriam is a fantastic student with an incredible amount of work ethic. She cares about her education and schooling and takes her responsibilities very seriously. She completes all of her assignments on time, asks for help when she needs it, and gives help to others freely. Miriam is extremely polite, well-mannered, and very kind. Her teacher says she's gonna go far. Miriam, we are super proud of you. Congratulations. And representing Mrs. Scriven in sixth grade is Levi Hildebrand. Levi is a conscientious student who actively participates in school each day. He is quick to say hello every morning. He often has a riddle for his class some he even wrote himself, or he also shares some of his artwork that he's made. He is an especially good writer and his teacher has really enjoyed watching his progress this year. Levi is a transfer student who jumped into Frank Zeke with a full enthusiasm, a terrific role model. It's sometimes hard to make friends online when you don't know anyone, but Levi has done just that. He has a joyous spirit. He is well liked by everyone in the class and quite admired. Levi, we are very proud of you. Congratulations. That concludes Frank Zeke's portion for Student of the Month. We're super proud of these kids. And thank you so much for letting me share them with you. Hi, my name is Cara Blanco and I am the principal or directora at Grace Hudson Language Academy and it's my pleasure to share with you a little bit about our students of the month for February. First, I'd like to start with Cassandra or as people call her Cassie Damian, who is a fourth grader in Maestro Yepes's 4-5 combo. Maestro Yepes shares that Cassie is a focused student. She is self-motivated and an independent learner. She completes all of her assignments and she is also one of the first students to log in every day. At school, Cassie thinks that being in a four or five combo makes school more interesting and challenging. She also enjoys playing with her friends and math. Outside of school, she loves playing soccer, playing with her dog and playing board games with her family because they are all so competitive. When Cassie grows up, she wants to be a teacher. She thinks the best thing about Grace Hudson is that we learn in two different languages. Spanish and English. We are so proud of Cassie Felicidades. Our next fourth grader is uh, a fourth grader in Maestro Farrell's class, Jack Wellington. Maestro Farrell shares that Jack is very thoughtful and contributes to class discussions. He is on task and is quick to complete his work. Jack helps students who are struggling. He has a wonderful personality and loves to tell jokes. At school, Jack enjoys playing with his friends and checking out books in the library. He loves reading and the Who Was series is his favorite to read. Outside of school, he likes swim practice with the Ukiah Dolphins, hanging out with his grandma, and of course, reading. He recently read a book about Dwight D. Eisenhower and how he organized D-Day. When Jack grows up, he wants to be a general in the army. 
He thinks the best things about Grace Hudson is our recess and the library. We're so proud of Jack Felicidades. Our second, or actually our first fifth grader here, we have uh, Athenea Rico. She also received student of the month last year around this time. She is in Maestro Sweet's class for English and Maestro Land's class for Spanish. Maestro Sweet and Maestro Land share that Athenea is an amazing student. She is kind and helpful to her classmates. She is the first to offer support out loud or in the chat box when a classmate is struggling. Athenea is a strong team leader in groups. She is responsible by showing up every day on time and shows great respect to her teachers and peers. Athenea works very hard and is showing in her progress. She always completes her, all of her work and asks for help when she is stuck, which isn't very often, her teachers say. Her reading score has increased a full grade level since the beginning of the year. Athenea is a model student and her teachers can't wait to see what she does when she's back in the classroom. At school, Athenea likes playing with her friends and going to the library. Outside of school, she enjoys playing with her dog, spending time with her siblings, and helping out at a daycare. Athenea likes working with little kids and wants to be a teacher when she grows up, and she wishes for her career to start at Grace Hudson, which is awesome. She thinks the best things about Grace Hudson are the teachers are supportive and helpful, and when she is physically at school, she feels safe and very protected. We are so proud of Athenea Felicidades. <clears throat> and finally, we have Sebastian Hartlein, a fifth grade student in Maestro Land's class. Uh, he also has Maestro Suite for English and Maestro Land for Spanish. And he also uh, earned Student of the Month last year as well in fourth grade. Maestro Land and Maestro Suite share Sebastian can be a quiet student, but he is incredibly hardworking. Sebastian completes all his work and is always engaged with class discussions. Sebastian doesn't always volunteer to answer, but he always has an answer or an idea. He has a great teammate in small groups and grew his reading score to grade level since the beginning of the year. Wow. Sebastian has lots to share and I look forward or they look forward to him sharing more and more as the year goes on. Sebastian really enjoys math and does it very well. At school, Sebastian enjoys the morning meeting, math, and making and seeing friends. Outside of school, he likes to play with his brother, relax a little bit, play board games with his family, and play outside. When Sebastian grows up, he wants to be a teacher or a scientist. We have a lot of teachers in this group, so exciting. He thinks the best things about Grace Hudson is that teachers make it easy to learn by teaching step-by-step -step and that we learn in two languages. We are so proud of Sebastian Felicidades. That is our four students uh, at Grace Hudson who have earned a great uh, student of the month for the month of February. Felicidades a todos and work really hard. Good evening. I am Tom Rawls and I am principal of Nokomis Elementary School. Nokomis Elementary School is a TK through fifth grade elementary school that focuses on the three R's of being ready, responsible, and respectful. It is my honor to bring to you this evening four students that have displayed those character traits in their classrooms during this time of remote learning. The first student that I would like to tell you about is a fourth grader from Mr. Bauer's fourth grade room, Jose Manzanares. Mr. Bauer writes that Jose continues to greatly exceed all of his expectations. It has been a true blessing for Mr. Bauer to insist in the molding of this young man's mind. Jose is an intelligent, kind, humble, polite, and extraordinary student. Jose, Jose, Josue is a gifted reader and mathematician. The scientific thoughts and theories Jose possesses are truly impressive. It is exciting to watch this academic all-star work so hard to become a scholar we know today. Josue Manzanares from Mr. Bauer's classroom. The next student that I'd like to tell you about is Zarina Faith Galley from Mrs. Armstrong's fourth grade classroom. Miss, Mrs. Armstrong writes that Zarina is a remarkable student. She is kind, fun, smart, unique, and full of personality. Mrs. Armstrong says even her answers to her math questions stand out. Serena often thinks of alternative ways to solve problems. She is fun to teach because she makes every moment interesting. 
Serena completed well over 100% of her work this year. She is rocking distance learning. Her parents should also be given an award for all the love and support they give. Serena is a fantastic kid from a fantastic family. And Mrs. Armstrong says she is fortunate to be in her life during this part of her educational journey. Serena Faith Galley from Mrs. Armstrong's room. The third student I would like to tell you about is from Mr. Delgado's 4-5 combo, Kylie Andrade. Mr. Delgado writes that Kylie is one of the hardest working students in fourth grade. Very few students show the same type of hard work and determination as Kylie. Mr. Delgado goes on to say that one of her best qualities is her desire to always want to be better and learn more. She takes risks in the class and is not afraid of being wrong. And she learns from her mistakes. This makes Kylie an outstanding learner and gives her exceptional ability to improve. Kylie is doing great academically and always gets a well, long, gets along well with her peers. From Mr. Delgado's room, Kylie Andrade. And the final student that I would like to tell you about is a fourth grade student that was in Mrs. Armstrong's class and will be moving to Mr. Bowers' room. Caden is a natural leader. His positivity ex exudes from him. He finds positive in the worst situation and calls on others to action as he leads by example. Caden creates hope and a picture of happiness, which could be when others could not find it. The picture of hope which he creates leads others to follow him without having to ask or demand others to follow him. In situations when others would feel helpless, Caden finds a way to make the situation within his control. It is no wonder that Caden has completed 100, 108% of his work this trimester. Mrs. Armstrong says the world needs more Cadence. Cadence Andrews, a remarkable young man. Congratulations to these four students from Nokomis Elementary. And I would like to say that these four students come from the school that many had called the greatest school in the universe. Congratulations and well done. Thank you and have a great evening. Good evening, my name is Chris Francis. I'm the principal of Oak Manor Elementary School. It is my pleasure to be able to present to you the Oak Manor Elementary School February Students of the Month. Here at Oak Manor School, we really strive to follow the Oak Manor way and each one of our Students of the Month exemplifies this Oak Manor way. Being safe, respectful, and responsible at school, at home, and online when they're participating in distance learning and completing their activities. Our first student of the month is Gabriel Elias Tamayo in grade four. Mr. Ely writes that Elias has been an incredibly consistent student this year during remote learning. He arrives at class meetings on time and always does his best. As he beca has become more comfortable this year, he has also begun to contribute actively to class conversations. He is an excellent student and a positive member of our classroom community. Elias believes that he was ch chosen student of the month because he has been doing well in class and pays close attention to the teacher. His favorite things about Oak Manor are that there are nice teachers and he is getting a good education. His favorite subjects are reading and language arts. And when he grows up, Elias would like to be a stop motion artist. He wants to focus on action scenes and acting silly. When he's not busy studying, he likes to play outside and play on his Nintendo Switch. Minecraft is one of his favorites. And finally, Elias would like to thank his mom because she has been helping him with his work and being very supportive. He would also like to thank his cousins because they have been helping him as well. Congratulations on being chosen Oak Manor Student of the Month. Our next Student of the Month is Josh Fadola in grade four. Ms. Davenport writes that Joshua is what you want to see in a student. He has good attendance, his materials are ready, and he's always engaged. All of those things contribute to his success. When facing challenges, he persists until he has accomplished his goal. Josh believes that he was chosen student of the month because he does not give up and 
every time he fails, he will try again. Josh's favorite thing about Oak Manor is the playground. And during distance learning, he has really enjoyed being able to complete all the online assignments and independent work. His favorite subject is reading. When Josh grows up, he would like to be a basketball player and attend college. In his free time, Josh enjoys flying his drone around, and he also enjoys jumping on his trampoline. Josh would like to thank his dad because he wakes him up on time and he is very supportive with his schoolwork. Josh, congratulations on being chosen student of the month. Our next student of the month is Colin Lawson in grade four. Mr. Eifert writes that Colin has been consistent with distance learning all year long. He is always thinking and willing to contribute his insights. And Colin is an absolute joy to have in class. Colin believes that he was chosen student of the month because he works hard and learns from his mistakes. Colin's favorite thing about Oak Manor is hanging out with his friends when he's here. His favorite subject in school is math. He particularly enjoys addition and subtraction. When he grows up, Colin would like to be a YouTuber and an actor. He would specifically like to have a channel about video gaming. When he's not busy studying, Colin enjoys going out on the trampoline and jumping with his brothers. Finally, Colin would like to thank Mr. Eifert because he has been helping him all year with all sorts of stuff. He would also like to acknowledge his entire family for being so supportive this year. And in particular, he'd like to say that he thinks his mom has superpowers because she's able to help three kids online in school all at home. Colin, congratulations on being chosen student of the month. Our next student of the month is Angel Gonzalez Garcia in grade five. His teacher, Ms. Sevilla, writes that Angel does his best, encourage, encourages others, is respectful, and is always willing to participate in class. His kindness is contagious, and not only does he ensure he is doing what he needs to for school, but helps his brother as well. Not only is Angel an all around great student, but he is a great person. Angel believes that he was chosen student of the month because he always volunteers to solve problems in class. His favorite thing about Oak Manor is PE because he enjoys the exercise, the movement, and the activities that Ms. Monlux put together. When he gets older, he would like to attend college and see what the world has to offer him. Angel's favorite subjects in school are reading and language arts. When he is not busy studying, he enjoys running and exercising. He also enjoys spending time with his many pets, like the bearded dragon in the picture here. And finally, Angel would like to thank the entire school and his teacher, Miss Sevilla. And he would also like to send a special thank you out to his parents who are always there to support him and his brother with anything that they need. Angel, congratulations on being chosen student of the month. Our next student of the month is Nancy Munoz Rodriguez from grade five. Ms. Ewan writes that Nancy has shown a lot of growth this year. She contributes to class discussions and works really hard. She had excellent attendance and completes all of her work. She is enthusiastic about assignments and asks for help when she needs it. She is an absolute pleasure to have in class. Nancy believes she was chosen because she does her work and does her very best every single time. Nancy's favorite thing about Oak Manor are the teachers because they are all nice and provide help when you need it. Art, music, and writing are her favorite subjects. She enjoys painting and drawing things in nature. Nancy would like to attend college when she gets older. When she's not busy studying, she enjoys being with her family. And finally, she would like to thank Ms. Hewlin because she is a great teacher. She'd also like to thank her mom for being so supportive with all of her schooling and the distance learning. Nancy, congratulations on being chosen student of the month. Our next student of the month is Jaden Williams in grade six. Mr. Schultz writes that Jaden has made a great effort to stay up to date with all of his assignments at all times. When he's missed a couple assignments, he would just make up the work on his own without being asked. His attitude in class is also an absolute delight to see. Jaden believes that he was chosen student of the month because he tries his hardest and does his best. His favorite things about Oak Manor School are the teachers because they are nice and provide help when the students need it. 
Jaden would like to be a pilot and a marine biologist when he gets older. Jaden's favorite subject is math. He enjoys all the aspects of it as he is very good in math. When Jaden isn't busy studying, he enjoys gaming. As he especially enjoys playing Fortnite with his friends online. And Jaden would like to thank his mom and his teacher. His mom for helping him on, stay on time and organized and his teacher for never losing faith in him. Our next student of the month is Forrest Craig in grade six. His teacher, Mr. Burns, writes that Forrest is a very hardworking student whose intent is always about improving himself. He has maintained perfect attendance and has excellent in-class participation. Forrest believes that he was chosen student of the month because of his motivation and his determination. Forrest's favorite things about Oak Manor are learning and watching as the school evolves and adds more stuff. His favorite subjects are math, art, and reading. He is always excited about learning new things in all subjects. Forrest would like to become a video game creator when he gets older. When he is not busy studying, he enjoys playing games, doing art, and reading. Animals are his favorite subject matter. And finally, Forrest would like to thank all his pets, his friends, and his parents for all the support they have given him over the years. Forrest, congratulations on being chosen Student of the Month. And finally, we'd like to thank all the parents and caregivers who have supported all the students here at Oak Manor School during distance learning and also in our transition back to site-based instruction. Thank you very much. And these are the Oak Manor Elementary School Students of the Month. Good evening. I'm Dana Milani, principal of Yokeo Elementary School. We believe that the mission of the Yokeo Elementary School community is to instill the appreciation of knowledge. We want our students to have the ability to effectively communicate, problem solve, collaborate, create, and innovate. Character education is also an essential part of our foundational learning. The character traits of trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we like to say we are terrific, are part of who we are. I believe our school, school community provides an environment committed to achieving excellence. The following five students exemplifies these qualities and I'm proud to introduce them to you tonight. So these are our February students of the month. Congratulations. First up is Christopher Sperling. He's a fourth grader in Mrs. Tina Harrow's class. Christopher, Christopher's teacher says that he excels in math. He loves doing math in class and at home. He is especially great at working with fractions and he loves helping others with understanding the problems. Christopher's favorite subject in school is reading. He enjoys reading in small groups with his friends and classmates. Christopher is a terrific student because he is one of the most respectful students in class. He always raises his hand and takes his turn to participate in classroom discussions. He is a model student and a perfect example of someone who follows the golden rule by treating others the way he would like to be treated. Christopher uses good manners and is always considerate of other people's feelings. Christopher believes that the most important character trait is caring and respect because no one should hurt anyone's feelings and we should always treat other with, others with kindness. His favorite things to do outside of school are playing with his new puppy and dog, playing on his slide and climbing his outdoor structure. What's most important to Christopher is his family and pets. When Christopher grows up, he wants to be a video game YouTuber and a pro in Minecraft. He would also like to be a veterinarian because he loves animals. Congratulations, Christopher. Up next is Zoe Schreiner. She's also a fourth grader in Mrs. Tina Harrow's class. Zoe has been excelling in mathematics this year. She has become very interested in our fractions unit and has enjoyed learning all about it. She problem solves with multiple solutions and can transfer mathematical learning into real world situations. She participates in class discussions, is extremely perceptive, and is always adding insightful knowledge about whatever is being discussed in class. Zoe's favorite, favorite subject in school is mathematics. Zoe is a terrific student because she is very respectful and res a very respectful and responsible student. She is a great role model to her classmates when it comes to these traits. She is accountable for her words, actions, and attitude. She is diligent in her studies and is always doing her very best. Zoe believes that the most important character trait is caring. She believes that being kind to others is what, is what makes them feel good about themselves. 
Zoe's favorite thing to do outside of school are spending time on her ranch. She loves riding her horses and loves barrel racing. She also enjoys spending time with her other farm animals and dogs. She just started 4-H and has been enjoying making flower arrangements. The most important thing in Zoe's life are her family and all her animals. When Zoe grows up, she wants to be a large animal veterinarian. She loves animals, especially horses. Congratulations, Zoe. Up next is Liliana Laurentino. She's a fifth grader in Mrs. Furlong's class. Mrs. Furlong says that Liliana excels in many areas at school. Her reading, writing, and math skills are all top notch. She is creative and detailed in her writing and uses logical and critical thinking skills to solve problems in mathematics. She is consistently engaged in classroom discussions and interacts, interacts with text in a thoughtful way. Liliana's favorite subject in school is reading. Liliana is a terrific student because she is responsible and always completes her assignments and turns them in on time. She sets goals for herself in math and in reading and works extremely hard to achieve them. She's eager to learn and stays on task and focus with the lessons at hand. She is caring and often helps other students in class. She has a positive attitude and outlook on life. She is motivated to do well and, and turns in thoughtful and thorough work. She believes that the most important character trait is respect because if you give respect, you will get it in return. Liliana's favorite thing to do when she isn't in school is play video games. The most important thing to her is her family. When Liliana grows up, she would like to be a police officer. Congratulations, Liliana. Up next is Nolan Olson. He's also a fifth grader in Mrs. Furlong's class. And Mrs. Furlong says that Nolan is, an, is excellent in reading and works hard to actively engage in the literature in class. He is thoughtful when he reads and identifies with the characters is able to visualize what is happening in a story and can often anticipate what is happening next. Nolan's favorite subjects in school are reading and PE. Nolan is a terrific student because he is trustworthy. He is honest and reliable by consistently doing what he says he's going to do. He shows consideration for others by his words and actions. Nolan wants to be successful in everything that he does. He has a strong work ethic and is tenacious with his studies. Nolan believes that the most important character trait is all six of them combined. He says that in order to be special, even in your own way, you have to have and develop all of these traits. His favorite things to do outside of school is to re relax and enjoy doing his favorite activities. What's most important to Nolan is his family and friends. When Nolan grows up, he would like to be an archeologist. Congratulations, Nolan. Up next is Ali Balaho. He's a sixth grader in Mrs. DeLong's class. And Mrs. DeLong says that Ali is a great student. He excels in math and science. Ali is able to note the big picture and the fine details when it comes to science. He has keen observation skills. Ali is also able to reason through problems and is able to communicate and justify mathematical concepts. It's no wonder that Ali's favorite subject is mathematics. Ali is a terrific student because he is respectful and fair. He is considerate of others and their feelings and treats others with respect. He is fair in situations that arise in the classroom and is open-minded and listens to others. Ali has a great work ethic and strives to make his teachers, his parents, and himself proud of what he does and who he is. He believes that the most important character trait is respect. He believes that respect and kindness go hand in hand. Ali's favorite thing to do outside of school is to play League of Legends and Roblox. All people are important to him, especially his parents. Ali is not sure what he wants to be when he grows up, but his perseverance and kindness will take him far in life. Congratulations, Ali. And those are our five wonderful um, Yokeo Roadrunner Students of the Month. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Brian Barrett, and I am here today to present to you Pomelita Middle School Students of the Month. And we're going to start our student of the month with uh, sixth grader Harper Henderson. Uh, Harper's teacher says that uh, Harper's such a sweet, kind, respectful, and hardworking student. She comes to class every day with a smile on her face, ready to learn. She actively participates in class through chat box, raising her hand, uh, offering her opinions, and helping other students. Harper is always prepared for class. She consistently completes both her class and homework at high academic levels. Harper's a leader in breakout rooms when she needs to be, but 
also allows for other students to be leaders as well. She's willing to step up when the job needs to get done, but also has the grace to know she does not always have to be the lead for the job to be completed. Wow, that's great things to say about somebody, especially a sixth grader. Great job, Harper. Uh, she continues to say Harper's a wonderful addition to our class. We um, adding to the classroom culture with the values of We Roar that she exemplifies. She is an ideal candidate for students of the month. So um, at Pumalita, We Roar, that's our, um, our pillars, uh, our acronym for our pillars that we want every student to be like. Um, it has to do with uh, uh, wellness and empathy. And uh, that's the we portion. And then responsibility, organization, attitude, and respect. And um, those are all things that, that Harper um, has going for her, and her teacher recognizes that. Harper's also um, got all A's. She's in band. She's in accelerated math. Um, I got to know her playing volleyball. She's um, always uh, quick with a smile, uh, eager to play, and very coachable. Just a great all-around kid. Harper, congratulations for getting student of the month. Great job. Our next student of the month is Ella Danner. So Ella's teacher says that Ella is responsible, respectful, and hardworking. Uh, Ella is always participating in uh, class through volunteering answers with a raised hand, writing answers in the chat box of Zoom when prompted, and when she's called on. She is always prepared for class. She consistently has both her classwork and homework completed and completed at a high standard. She is a very helpful classmate, volunteering advice to classmates when tech issues arise or providing alternate solutions to tasks in class, as well uh, as we are all learning through remote learning platform. Ella is a, a leader in breakout rooms, offering to share her screen, lead discussions, and ensure all members of her group are collaborating together. Ella is exemplifying the qualities of student of the month. Wow, that's something really to be uh, excited about, Ella. You're um, obviously a great student. Um, you have all A's. Uh, you're in band. You're in uh, accelerated math. Um, I know you enjoy doing other things like swimming, uh, but I got to know you on the volleyball court uh, when we were uh, practicing earlier. Um, I just, I like that you have a, a spark for life and you seem to be always happy. So Ella, very, um, very good. And, and thank you for being a great student. Um, congratulations for being picked student of the month. Um, our next student of the month is Manuel Magana Manzo. So um, Manny, uh, Manuel is a student who exhibits terrific qualities like hard work and showing up um, on time to class and participating in class. These are all things that his teacher says. He's also a straight A student who I see taking ambitious honors classes um, soon. So I'm sure that you'll be taking honors classes next year. Um, he has served as an example for other students in class and is a student who doesn't let barriers get in his way. That's a great thing to have said about you. Um, great job. So, um, Manny, I just want to say great job. You have all A's. You're a terrific student at Pomalita um, and a great pick for student of the month. So congratulations, student of the month. Our next student is Shante Vishaka um, Doherty. Shanti has impressed uh, her teacher this year, a start of the school year with initiative, respectfulness, and drive to succeed. That's pretty amazing. I can always count on Shante to um, volunteer answers and explain her thinking to others. You want Shanti in your, to be in your breakout room to work with her because she explains her thinking so well. She's a great part of my class, and I can only hope to see that she accomplishes this year and what she does in the future. So their teacher can't wait to see what she does. Um, I can't either. I love to see people like this. Um, she has all A's in all of her classes. She's in honors classes, both um, ELA, English language arts and science. Um, the teachers say that she's just amazing to have in class. 
Um, she's also in our choir program here, which is awesome. So, uh, Shanti, congratulations on Pomolita Student of the Month. Great job. Our next student of the month is Anthony McCormick. And um, his teacher says that Tony's been a pleasure to have in class. He always participates, is always engaged, and asks questions if he needs help. Uh, he's putting in a huge effort into learning new material, and he's so impressed with the perseverance and attitude towards his own education. Tony has shown tremendous growth in both his math skills and academic skills this year. Tony would be an excellent choice for student of the month. Well, he was an excellent choice, and thank you for putting him up for student of the month. Uh, Tony, great job. Continue being a great student. Um, we can't wait to see what you do uh, throughout the rest of this year and as you move on to uh, UK High School. So, Tony, congratulations, student of the month. And our next student is Paige Allenbaugh. Um, Paige has is, is, um, got the um, experience of being put up by three different teachers. Now, that I don't even know if that's ever happened um, in the same month. So, Paige, you must be doing something special. Uh, three people, three different teachers um, put you up for Student of the Month. That's uh, pretty, pretty amazing right there. Um, her teachers say that Paige has shown exceptional hard work and effort in her classwork work. She's a terrific student, has shown exceptional growth. Um, Paige loves learning and loves school. All of her teachers agree that Paige has done a great job the entire school year, even throughout this distance learning. She is dedicated, positive, and outgoing young person. She is motivated, caring, and puts forth every effort to improve her academic skills. She's a great example of what we want our Pomolita students to be like. Great job, Paige. Paige, those are some great words um, and inspiring messages from your teachers. So um, you're a terrific student of the month uh, for this month um, and really a, a a perfect student uh, for us to recognize at Pomolita. You have all A's, um, you enjoy being in band, um, and I can see that you love, have a love of uh, working with animals, which is pretty amazing. So Paige, congratulations on being um, put forth for Student of the Month and chosen for Student of the Month for Pomolita Middle School. Paige, I can't wait to see what you do in high school. So keep up the good work, congratulations. And those are our Pomolita Students of the Month. Congratulations to all of them. Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Stearns with February's Eagle Peak Students of the Month. Jumping into fifth grade, we have Emery Painter from Miss Gallagher. Emery is a fantastic student. She has been a wonderfully calm and respectful scholar during all of our Zoom sessions. She is a model of perfect digital citizenship. It is always amazing to have a thoughtful and respectful student like Emery, but, but what's even more amazing about her is the quality of work she turns in. Her assignments are so well thought out and introspective, it is absolutely inspiring to read her work. When I begin grading her assignments, I know that I'm going to receive high quality work. And after she turns in her work, she always checks in with me that I've received it and asks if there's anything she should change. So considerate and dedicated. Congratulations, Emery, on being an exceptional student. Also in fifth grade, Marcos Diaz. Ms. Gallagher writes, Marcos has been one of the most enthusiastic and energetic Zoom students I've ever had. The very first day of class, he was the first one to raise his hand and volunteer his answer. I can't help but smile when he raises his hand. Even when taking a family trip to Mexico, he turned on his Chromebook and was on a Zoom on the drive to the airport. If that isn't dedication, I don't know what is. He continues his dedication into his assignments. As soon as I return an assignment with a grade and comments, he makes the changes I recommend and resubmits it. Whereas most students would be satisfied with turning it in for a grade, he goes for an even higher grade. Absolutely phenomenal. In sixth grade, Caitlin San Diego. Ms. Shallon writes, Caitlin is an energetic, perceptive student who gives her all to everything she does in class. 
In addition to being masterfully articulate, Caitlin has a creative flair that stands out in her assignments and in her interactions with others. Caitlin demonstrates a high level of academic responsibility as she always completes all of her assignments and always fully engages with the learning activities. It is a joy to have Caitlin among us in our science learning community. From Ms. Tangren, she writes, Caitlin is a rock star in math. She never gives up, especially when her Wi-Fi is being silly, she'll keep rejoining class. I appreciate her focus and drive. Keep up the great work, Caitlin. In sixth grade, we also have Jamani Zasweta from Ms. Shallon. Jamani is a model student in science. He is polite, engaged, hardworking, and always participating. He shows incredible academic maturity by taking advantage of every learning opportunity provided to him. Jamani completes all of his assignments with thoughtful, high quality work. He sets a high standard for behavior and engagement in our class. From Ms. Tangren, Jamani is always participating in math class. Thank you, for our act, thank you for actively participating in math activities. He works hard. Keep up the great work, Jamani. From Ms. Porter, Jamani is an awesome student of STEM. He is always the first to ask questions and get down to business. Jamani has been a solid student since day one with engagement, participation, and timely work. Thank you, Jamani, for setting such a great example for your peers and for showing up to class every single day. In seventh grade, we have Joanna Mendez Gonzalez. Ms. Matthews writes, Joanna is a pleasure to have in class. She is communicative and approaches distance learning with a strong work ethic. I appreciate how much she embodies Eagle Peak's virtues of kindness, safety, and responsibility. Con congrats, Joanna. From Ms. Wilson, Joanna is a hardworking and dedicated student. She has made impressive gains in her reading and fluency scores throughout remote learning. Her reading score has improved 360 lexile points, which is the equivalent of three grade levels. Wow. She is also our class champion for highest gains, best average, and most improved in student application. Joanna is also a model citizen. She is kind, responsible, and safe in the classroom. Joanna has demonstrated consistent responsibility and dedication to improve her reading, and, and watching her efforts this year has made me incredibly proud of her achievement. Joanna, I'm so very proud of you, young lady. Also in seventh grade, Danica Silva Angel from Miss Matthews. Danica is a very hardworking student. She's focused on her assignments and is consistently completing her work with 100% effort. I really appreciate her work ethic. Congrats, Danica. For Miss Merritt, Danica is a mature, responsible, and kind student. She's always focused in class and is willing to help others in breakout rooms. Danica is one of those students that I know I can count on to complete their assignments and to always be on task. Zoom classes can be challenging, but Danica, Danica has been a very successful student this year with remote learning. For Ms. Porter, Danica is a superstar. She is extre extremely kind, responsible, and participates daily. I appreciate her work ethic and her leadership role she takes on when things need to get done. Danica is consistent, respectful, and a great team player. In eighth grade, we have Michael Gonzalez from Mr. Reinelt. Michael is a joy to have in class. He often volunteers to answer questions and explain his thinking, even if, he, even if he's not sure of the answer. This demonstration of vulnerability and growth mindset is invaluable for himself and for other students to see. He has an unfailingly sunny dis disposition and is encouraging to students and teachers alike. For Ms. Kuhn, Michael's a cheerful old soul unafraid to speak his poetic truth. Wow, I like that. For Ms. Nungare, Michael has a kind heart and is always willing to give his all to his assignments and class participation. Congrats. Want to note too that on Michael's current progress reports, he has all A plus grades. In eighth grade, we have Ruthie Nally from Ms. Nungare. Ruthie is a passionate student who believes in social justice and equality for all. In class, she is re reflective, articulate, and definitely a force to reckon with when it comes to addressing those who have been overlooked and underserved in the story of American history. Congratulations, Ruthie, and I look forward to hearing more about your accomplishments in the near future. Ruthie has had near perfect attendance and distance learning and has exhibited excellent digital citizenship in all of her class Zooms. All of her teachers appreciate this about her. On her progress reports and report cards, she receives multiple enjoyable to have in class comments. Congratulations, Ruthie. 
Hello, I'm Scott Pollan, the principal at Ukiah Independent Study Academy, and uh, we're proud to announce our students of the month. Both of our students of the month this month are from Miss Pam Muckleroy's class. Our first student is Rosa Vallejo. Pam writes of Rosa. Rosa is an 11th grade student. She has been at UESA since ninth grade. Rosa is conscientious, diligent in her coursework. She has challenged herself by taking Mendocino College courses each semester. Rosa also works 16 hours a week at Ukiah Natural Foods. Congratulations, Rosa. Our second student is Ryan Oklov. Ryan is a cheerful student, easygoing. He enjoys art, building things, and science experiments. Ryan has even been known to bake a little. He has an amazing math mind with an ability to see alternative ways to solve math problems. Congratulations, Ryan, and congratulations to both our Students of the Month at Ukiah Independent Study Academy. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. My name is Chris Sweet. I'm the principal at South Valley High School, uh, Big Picture Ukiah, and joining me uh, right now is uh, Rachel Prosser, who is the teacher, we call them advisors, of our Student of the Month this month, and we are happy to announce that Jesus Montes de Oca is our Student of the Month. Um, Jesus just came to us. Um, this is his first year with us. Um, he's a junior and will most definitely be on, on uh, track to graduate on time, if not even early. Um, and we're uh, happy to have him. And despite the fact that we're in COVID, um, there's, I don't get to meet everybody at the level that I would like to. That's why Rachel's with us to talk to us. So Rachel, why did uh, Jesus get student of the month this month? Jesus has been an amazing student. He shows up every day, gets all of his work done, and we have these amazing conversations. Um, he's highly motivated and has really like has a solid plan of what it is that he wants to do. And um, one of his biggest aspirations and the things that we talk about all the time is he wants to run for the house. And so he's been doing his research about campaigning and what you need to do to be a member of the House of Representatives. And he's been looking at different types of government. Um, you know, he can always participate in a conversation about anything government. Uh, he's reading books, like lots of biographies right now. Like he just finished uh, both of Obama's books and has been asking, oh, Prosser, what can I read next? What can I read next? So he's he's really educating himself about the process, um, looking at both sides, looking at what, the, what it means to be Republican and what it means to be a Democrat and just really doing his homework about this. And, you know, he's hoping by the time he's 25 and can run for the house that he'll be ready to go, so. And that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I want to highlight that, you know, the fact that the kids come in, they get to go after something they super pursue, they start to read more um, and do more with what they what they just love and the passion behind it. And, and Rachel, thank you for taking him on and just just have capitalizing on on the fact that he found something that he loves and he can get, go after it. So absolutely. I, I it's absolutely my pleasure. Like I, I, we have the greatest conversations and, I, you know, I'm just I'm super excited for him. Like, I, I think he will actually do this one day. Like, you know, lots of kids will say things like, oh, I want to be an astronaut or oh, I want to do this. But I, I think that Jesus is, is actually going to do this one day and it'll be fun to watch. Right on. So Jesus, uh, congratulations um, and thank you so much. And thank you for being a great model our school and uh, cheers to you. Awesome. Congratulations, Jesus. It's an honor and a privilege to serve you as the Ukiah High School principal and introduce our February Students of the Month. The resiliency and positive attitude that this group demonstrates as they find opportunity in the face of crisis is truly a gift to us all. It is a tribute to them as individuals, their families, all of us here at Ukiah High School and Ukiah Unified School District, as well as the whole community. Again, it is a privilege to introduce our February Students of the Month. Representing the Ukiah High School class of 2024 is Peyton Slotty. Mr. Taylor, her Spanish teacher, writes, professionalism, responsibility, earnest effort, unwavering consistency. These descriptors are what come to mind when I think of Peyton Slotty, a dedicated and powerful student who has excelled in Spanish one since day one. Her grade is an amazing A plus with over 100%. She has an uncanny ability to be nearly flawless in her performance and works the entire time during distance learning. This is a major feat and one worthy of praise and recognition. I have appreciated her focus, preparation, and clear desire to succeed in learning Spanish this year. 
Speaking with Peyton, it is clear that this effort reaches to every aspect of her life. Her training in ballet has cultivated the work ethic and precision she demonstrates daily. Since the age of three, she has worked with the Mendocino Ballet Company, working her way through performance levels to the company level, meaning that she now takes on the lead in such shows as The Nutcracker. The passion of ballet has also taught her about time management, a must when you spend 20 to 30 hours a week on stage. It has also instilled a tremendous sense of self-confidence and most importantly, the value of friendships that become family. All of these skills make an incredible difference in the face of adversity, such as a pandemic. A straight A student in the most difficult classes, Peyton has an eye on college and medical school beyond, striving to become a pediatric oncologist, combining her love of children and her interest in medicine. She is appreciative of her parents for working so hard to give her a life that she so enjoys. Peyton, thank you for joining our team here at Ukiah High School. Representing the Ukiah High School class of 2024 is Matthew Vinson. Matthew clearly understands his responsibility and he does his job. His nominating teacher, Ms. Phillips, writes, Matthew always attends class. He usually arrives early and stays late. He is prepared and participates willingly. He is motivated to do well. In school, his favorite subject is math. His reasoning demonstrates how he tackles a problem. He enjoys a clear challenge with a clear answer that, with enough work, you can conquer. That is the definition of math and is also a winning attitude in life. At the foundation of Matthew's worldview is the family and the land that they have lived on for generations in Redwood Valley. He first points to his brothers as the most important to him. He simply loves spending time with them. Because his younger brother, Aaron, is closest in age, they spend most of their time together. They share jobs caring for the land that was deeply scarred by wildfires, the animals that they keep, a horse named Red, four dogs, and a host of cats, and wandering through the beauty of nature. When not on the land, he's on screen, playing computer games with people far and near, from his Eagle Peak friends to fellow players around the world. Gaming has preserved his local friendships and changed his view of the world, from the words that we use to the culture that we celebrate. Looking ahead, Matthew may be interested in auto mechanics, following the footsteps of his grandfather. He is most appreciative of his family, his father for always encouraging him and letting him know that he can accomplish whatever he wants if he works hard enough, his mother for being a little more relaxed than his father and always understanding him, and his four brothers for, as Matthew says, quote, keeping me happy. Matthew, thank you for bringing your positive, productive attitude to Ukiah High School. In the adversity of this pandemic, Jada Ford has found the light and it brightly reflects her future. Having struggled during ninth grade, she met the isolation and challenges of remote learning with a deep soul searching. This year, with a love of history class leading the way, she earned a perfect 4.0 in the fall term while also taking two Mendocino College classes. This transformation has been so noted that Jada was actually nominated by five UHS teachers to receive the Student of the Month Award, a school record. Comments included, she has come to recognize what is important and she prides herself on finding life's balance, exercising in order to maintain her health and reduce stress, finding ways to stay connected with her friends, playing video games together while keeping up on her academics. Another writes, never settles for the status quo, constantly asks questions and drives the conversation in class. And finally, quote, a shining star in my class, she is extremely conscientious, willing to help others, and continually impresses me with her poise, intelligence, and presence. Outside of school, Jada also found her passion, politics, specifically tribal politics. Jada is a member of the Coyote Valley Band of Pomo Indians. Through the fall, her interest in the tribal affairs, culture, and history blossom. She is active in the Tribal Youth Council and will be running for vice president. Key interests include the Health Committee and the Culture Committee, including celebrating traditional Northern Pomo language and culture. She looks forward to studying Pomo language on the UHS campus this fall. When not studying, she relaxes through dance, including traditional Pomo dancing. Her leadership skills will serve us well as a link leader on campus, welcoming and guiding our incoming ninth grade students. Beyond high school, her sights are on college, UC Berkeley, UCLA, or Stanford, and on to law school. Her key interest is real estate law as it pertains to tribal rights. She is most appreciative of her uncle, Chief John Feliz, for his inspirational leadership. She adds, 
He guides me through everything from school to tribal council and all aspects of life. Jada, thank you for your inspirational leadership at Ukiah High School. Mika Shibata is a confident, tenacious problem solver. That's how she became a student of the month. As her geometry teacher, Ms. Palmerian, writes, she is quick to make a guess and to provide suggestions on starting a problem. She has energy. Her inquisitiveness shines through the screen in Zoom meetings. She is a leader in class. She delegates, organizes, and collaborates. She stands out as a creative, honorable student. Likely, she learned a lot about being a quick, tough problem solver on the wrestling mat, where she celebrates her true passion. Having wrestled since the sixth grade, she possesses a tremendous self-discipline, focuses every moment on doing her best, and has come to rely on the guidance of the wrestling community, especially coaches Dixon, Alvarez, and Brian Thomas. Next to the intense productivity of wrestling, she finds peace in the creativity of art, specifically painting. She attributes this love to her father, a skilled artist. She is also a member of the UHS Choir, rising to the premier group vocal ensemble this year. Mika is a nurturing leader as well. She serves the community in fostering abandoned cats and kittens. This work requires hours of time each day, caring, feeding, and training cats so that they can bring joy to their new forever homes. A special joy in this compassionate journey is the time she spends with her mother in the process. One of the true joys of Mika's story is the reliance and love she places in her relationships with her elders, her coaches, father, mother. No reflection on her part is without a mentor. This is a powerful, reflective statement of Mika's incredible view of the world. Beyond high school, Mika looks forward to college and continuing her service to people and animals as a therapist. Mika, thank you for your engagement with all those that surround you. Your presence brightens Ukiah High School. Syra Chavez exemplifies the attitude and productivity that carries the day in these challenging times. She carries the long vision of the value of education, finds respite in her creativity, and knows the value of the foundation of her life, her family. By all accounts, Syra is an inspired student. Her English teacher, Miss Edwards, offers, Syra shows remarkable grit and determination in her work and effort to succeed. She takes the high road in asking for clarification. Her written commentary is thoughtful and inspiring. Her inspiration is founded in understanding that she is here for an education. Every opportunity to learn is an opportunity for a better future. She didn't have to look far to learn the intensity of this lesson. From parents that journeyed to a new land in hopes of educational opportunity for their children, to Syra's three older sisters, all of whom graduated from UHS and then earned degrees from the University of California. For her part, Syra has matched this family tradition. She's earned A's in nearly all classes, and every challenge ends with the strongest possible finish, and that results in success. The net result is a near-perfect academic record. She is passionate about art. As an advanced art student with four years of studio experience, she has gravitated towards painting to provide balance and freedom of thought. Looking ahead, she plans on attending Mendocino College prior to transferring to the University of California. Currently, she is interested in becoming a therapist, and as all aspects of her journey center around her family, so do her appreciations. She is thankful for the hard work and great teaching of her parents and her best friends and forever role models, her sisters, Yadira, Jessica, Karina. To Syra and all the Chavez family, Ukiah High School thanks you, and as history teacher Ms. Perry so aptly celebrates, Syra, what a great student. I was most delighted to learn that I had taught your three older sisters. I should have known. Each of them were as exceptional as the baby of the family. This young lady, lady is an incredible testament to exceptional child rearing. Again, Syra and all the Chavez family, thank you for being a great part of Ukiah High School. Daniel Delgado Sandoval's nominating teacher, Ms. Gordon, captured the earnestness he offers, stating, quote, integrity. Daniel works hard to complete all of his work and asks many questions during class. The work he turns in is neat and easy to follow. It's a joy to see him learn math and work hard to show his understanding in the work that he turns in. Thank you, Daniel. This integrity and attention to detail is resulting in earning straight A's. 
Over the past three years, his grades have increased to this level of perfection, all while his class is becoming increasingly more challenging. Daniel claims that his passion is working with his hands, from helping his father build things around the house to wishing that he could experience hands-on learning in construction class this year. While his passion may rest in this work, his commitment to his studies provides a hidden view of the scholar within him. He speaks vividly about a love of history, thanking Mr. Cawthon and Miss Perry for making history come alive. An avid gamer, he appreciates how history enhances the game and his knowledge of history adds to the joy. He is also an honors Spanish for Spanish speakers class. Raised bilingual, his commitment to languages has landed him in a class that tackles Latin American literature in Spanish. Daniel speaks with ease about the lessons in the novel 100 Years of Solitude, of the need to appreciate life, for as easy as it comes, it all can be taken away just as quickly. Looking ahead, he really does have a passion for working with his hands and is most interested in auto mechanics. During the pandemic, he's found opportunities to assist a friend in his shop and he may have found his calling. He appreciates his parents for teaching him what is right and wrong and demanding that he does the right thing and for all of the support that they have given him. Daniel, thank you for sharing that integrity with all of us at Ukiah High School. Few seniors have come further in the journey toward graduation than Caleb Pisano. His recognition as a student of the month is really a recognition of the entire journey. As Assistant Principal Cassandra Mortier describes him, indescribably resilient, candid, charismatic, charming. His innate inner strength is inspiring. Despite challenges that would have crippled most adults, Caleb, nicknamed Soda, should celebrate his current and future successes. He is a gift, and I cannot wait to see where his next adventure takes him. Four teachers nominated him this month. The stream of adjectives praising Caleb is seemingly endless. Fantastic student. Puts a smile on my face first thing in the morning. Respectful, kind, present, funny, helpful, hardworking. Volunteers with every question. Unafraid, supportive, an exceptional young man, a wonderful person, organized, a classroom leader, motivating. Wow, we can't recall a student of the month that garnered that many positive adjectives in such an efficient manner. Those positive words reflect the changes Caleb made in how he makes decisions and presents himself to all around him. Clearly, he has won over the teaching staff at Ukiah High School. This is founded in his ability to be self-reflective, to be authentic, and easily engage in conversation. He is also a tireless worker. This is seen in his academic performance as it remarkably improved over time and his holding down a steady job at one high-demand location for three years. As he approaches graduation, he was recently hired by Ukiah Valley Medical Center as a maintenance worker. This is the perfect next step for Caleb as he loves to work with his hands. The job will allow him time to enroll in the Building Trades program at Mendocino College in hopes of becoming a solar energy specialist. Empathetic toward others, he is also compassionate about the earth. He views a commitment to providing alternative energy as his contribution to saving our planet. Caleb, thank you for the long-term commitment and transformation, the incredible work effort, and being the person your teachers celebrated with so many positive adjectives. It is difficult to imagine a student with a better attitude and more drive to succeed in the present crisis or in any situation in the future than senior Caprice de los Santos. From her perspective, the past year has been filled with unexpected opportunities. In speaking with her, she appears to have trained for this moment her whole life. In her first three years at UHS, she did well as a student. She combined college prep classes and as many agriculture classes as she could. She amassed a 3.5 GPA. She dedicated herself to the arts, where teacher Rose Easterbrook summed it up for the entire staff. Caprice is outgoing, enthusiastic, and has a unique vision. Every day she does fantastic work. Every day she does fantastic work. In the past year, away from classes, she's invested her soul and energy in the land, farming and caring for her animals. Tucked in a pretty valley, the garden she's developed yielded every kind of vegetable, so much so that it fed her family, 
her friends, and her animals, including two Texas longhorns and 11 chickens that produce three dozen eggs a week. She is committed to organic, sustainable, self-sufficient practices that are easy on the land and the body. A great joy in the process is sharing the work with her father. She is particular about what she eats and relishes sharing the task of cooking with her sister and mother. Her family of four makes up a small bubble that has grown closer in this unique year. Through the journey, her focus on the future has at once become clearer. I know it will include horticulture, and it is immeasurably confident. I don't know exactly how it will play out, but I know myself and I know how I work, so I know that it will work out, and committed to continued education of some sort that is related to business and farming. Within this mix, she has enjoyed the academics of this year more than any other, learning from teachers online, thinking about those things while she worked the land, and sharing them with her family each evening has been ideal. Indeed, her enthusiasm is unbridled. She is the symbol of how true grit and leadership emerge in a crisis, and ultimately, she will be in the position to change the world in unexpected ways. Caprice is appreciative of her family. They are tight, they talk constantly, and they are her best friends. Caprice, thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and leadership with us at Ukiah High School. And the world is taking note.